morning boys. Uh, what are we at? Monday morning, back to work, eight o'clock. Um, very foggy day out, started, you can't see anything, it's really foggy, you can't even see town from here. Um, we have got loads of rubbish dumped in the street. God, I thank God I'm moving. <clears throat> I don't know whether you noticed my pause yesterday as I was coming down this hill, but I was watching somebody from these flats here, a lady holding a baby. Um, and they've basically started chucking all their rubbish out um, onto the street, just throwing it out, suitcases and clothes. Um, it's one thing that annoys me, unfortunately, about people that don't understand our society, that you shouldn't really just launch stuff out your door and expect somebody else to clean it up, because the council will pick it up, but it, it really pisses me off. Um, got a Land Rover booked in today, 90, uh, for a head unit install. Now, um, obviously being away, I'm hoping he's remembered his booking. I didn't manage to wash the car yesterday, and thank God I didn't, because we did hit loads of bugs. I can't turn the camera around, but the windscreen's peppered. Um, and I was going to clean it, but I didn't bother. And thank God I didn't, because the car is minging, and it, now it needs a real wash. But I did the inside, and obviously got the quad box going in, and it's bloody brutal. I forgot how loud that thing is. Honestly, it's nuts. Um, no drone footage from Jersey. Uh, they've updated the expanse for the no-fly zone in Jersey now. Um, it pretty much covers most of the island other than a small right-hand corner away from the airport, which, you know, I'm not that bothered. You have to apply to be able to fly the DJIs in a no-fly zone. And frankly, I wasn't that interested in trying to get myself in trouble. They're clearly having a problem with it. The signs around the airport saying no drone flying so clearly idiots that don't understand the damage an aircraft will do with a drone in its engine um, but i didn't bother so sorry if you were waiting for that um, i did get some footage of the day we arrived literally within the first hour sunshine all the way on the boat and then as soon as we got to jersey this one little storm rolled in and i'll put that clip in here Time-lapse the uh, cloud and rain coming in, which was pretty awesome to see, and then back to blue skies. Ah, whistle stop tall. So we've got this week to do, half of next week, and then we're moving, so it's, it's so close now. I can almost taste it. Them views, them cold, frosty mornings are going to be mint. Um, but I'm going to shut up, get off to work. Hopefully this guy turns up with his landing. We can get it done. I've ordered the stock already and it should have been delivered to next door. But I'm going to test my ears with a quad box and wake up Swindon. <laughs> See you in a bit. Good morning, boys. Right then, look at this. This is, um, I'd say a survivor, but it's not. It's a newer version, but nevertheless, it's an absolute peach. Uh, Land Rover 90, some really nice bits on it. It's got all LED upgrade, rock climbing tires, the big Wrangler, um, multi-terrain. It's got snorkel. It's lights everywhere, checker plate everywhere, venting everywhere. Um, is it English green, mallard green? I forget what they call this color, um, but it is a peach of a landy. Really, really nice. Um, but we've got upgrades to do on it, so, oh, bash me head. It comes standard with this CD player from Land Rover, but it's garbage. And the guy's not really interested in CDs, but he does want, obviously, Bluetooth, digital radio, and that kind of stuff. 
So we're going to stick in a Cadenwood KMM BT 58, uh, 508 DAD, um, which is a <coughs> basic radio as such, mechless, but it's got Bluetooth and all the capabilities. Um, originally, sorry, originally I was going to sell him on the idea of a Pioneer uh, 7200, the flip out. Um, and he still might, he's, he's getting on a bit, he's a lovely chap, but he basically said he doesn't know whether he's going to keep this vehicle or sell it. And I've basically told him he can't sell it because unfortunately Land Rovers do suffer from brown worm. And this one literally has none it, and it's mint and he's got a lot of people trying to buy this thing off of him. So the idea was, I said, let them bury you in it, <laughs> let them dig up, dig a bigger hole. Um, but we've got a Kenwood to go in this thing. So Bluetooth, we're going to get up here where you can talk into it. Um, digital aerial, I'm going to utilize a splitter on the factory aerial, which is already outside. So I don't have to disturb the rubbering here um, because these things are always a pickle to get past. I think this one does actually have a heated front windscreen, which is quite nice as well. So we'll leave that alone. We'll go for the external aerial for the reception. So front panel out, two uh, torque screws. This comes forward enough to get my cable through. Microphone up there. Radio in there should be nice and simple. It'll be done in like 10 minutes. Um, nice and easy. Look at these seats as well. Really comfort packed seats. Usually with these things, it's like sitting on the, sitting on the throne, but this one's all right. It's a nice one. See you in a bit. One pair of pants later. Right then guys, there we go. I didn't say it'd be long, did I? So microphone at the top there, slipped in through the side. We're using the standard aerial for digital radio and the reception's really nice and clear. New Kenwood's in there. That's it, this one's done. Taking all of about 20 minutes. Beautiful. Let's get this one out, wait for him to come back from his coffee and brekkie. See you in a bit. We've got a Ferrari Friday, a nice one too. See you then. Something from nothing. Life 
five lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven give something from nothing Five lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven give something from nothing Life changes just open the door But one thing's certain, I'll always be Right then boys, oh, Monday done. I haven't picked up the camera today. Uh, not much anyway. I've spent time cleaning the boys, but the Merc is now dirt free, cleaned inside, cleaned out. So is the chaser. And yes, I'm taking it home. Feel like a rip in that tonight. Get it ready for Daikoku on Wednesday. They've just messaged me and given me a ticket. So that's cool. So we're going on Wednesday. Don't know who's coming, but we'll be there. See you soon.